Well, Danielle Smith from 770 CHQR joins us this morning to continue the conversation on this story. And Danielle, this story happened in Vancouver, and you'll be speaking to a veteran reporter from there who has covered politics for decades. Can Trudeau survive this? Well, I'm going to talk to Vaughn Palmer about that. I think that the, we kind of have a lot to answer for on this one because it was an American outlet that broke the story, Time Magazine. And you've got a lot of people asking the question, why now? Why are we only discovering this now, especially since it appears that there are two other pictures? that are associated with this too. So I'm going to see if Vaughn Palmer had any inkling of this since it sounds like it's been in the chattering circle of that community for some time now. And it was one of the former uh, parents, I guess, who was associated with the school who found it in July who decided to, to go public with it. But having gone public in an international magazine, my goodness, it's making international coverage. I think Almost every outlet around the world is, is covering this. I think it's good for us that Jagmeet Singh is a leader in this election campaign because um, you heard many of the streeters saying, well, you know, um, people make mistakes. Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of weird, but I kind of understand it. But I don't think you can really understand how offensive it is unless you hear it from the perspective of a person who has friends and family and grew up with people picking on them and bullying them and being ignorant to them because of the color of their skin. So uh, if, uh, if people have been commenting that Andrew Shearer had a very short statement last night, and he should have, because this really is a, a one that we should be listening to Jagmeet Singh to see how he's responding, how people are approaching him, members of his community are responding to it, and, uh, and, and judge it from there. I think that that is what is, is going to hurt Trudeau the most is that he has been portraying this role of being Mr. Diversity, Mr. Multiculturalism. And this is just one more way in which his brand is shattered all to bits. The people who are most likely to be upset about this are the ones who are most likely to slide on over and vote for Jagmeet Singh or vote for uh, Elizabeth May. And so I'll be watching to see over the next couple of, of weeks whether or not this, uh, the NDP and the Green Party um, uh, percentage points end up surging. And Danielle, any idea what we should be looking for when we hear or if we hear from Trudeau today? Well, I think for me, you know, if people said, yeah, he apologized, I don't know. I don't find his apologies particularly sincere. I find he, he does a lot of posturing. And so that's what people are going to have to gauge, whether or not he genuinely is apologetic. I think the, the real problem that he has is that the, the, as soon as he said, oh, yeah, there was one other time. Well, then uh, Mercedes Stevenson last night po po posted a, a, a video showing that there was a third time. So was this just a common thing for him to do? It's a, an odd thing because listen, listen, keep in mind, he was in a position of authority. He was an adult, 29 years old, as a teacher at a school. He's the one who's supposed to be giving guidance and leadership to young people about the appropriate way to, to express themselves. And so, first of all, big fail on that front. But then contrast with that, that with Andrew Shear. When Andrew Shear was 29 years old, he was deputy speaker of the House of Commons. And so we're looking at credibility and gravitas and seriousness. I think one leader hasn't and the other one doesn't. All right. Thanks, Danielle. Thank you.